Hey guys, my name is Eric Peng and I'm the founder of Daily Fantasy Nerd. We're going to walk through today how to export lineups from Daily Fantasy Nerd directly into DraftKings so you can easily export a bunch of lineups at the same time. So let's get started. So I'm just going to build optimal lineups and take some of the default lineups um, for the purposes of exporting. Normally I would wait until all the um, starting lineup information has come in before I set my lineup. So we're still waiting for a few starting lineups to come in. Green highlight means that the uh, lineups have been confirmed. And normally I would also, you know, lock, exclude, like some players based off of um, stats in the, the table, players table down here, looking at the pitchers information, stuff like that. And I would lock in players. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to export lineups um, from Daily Fantasy Nerd to DraftKings. So you'll want to hit export to CSV here after you hit that build optimal lineups. And we'll open up this file. Um, and so now we have a bunch of player names, um, one per each lineup here. And next we're going to go to DraftKings and we'll go to my lineups. And we're going to hit upload lineups here. We'll also go over the process for uh, bulk editing existing entries, but we'll first go through the upload process. So we're going to go main slate on MLB. You'll need to make sure if you're doing um, turbo or late alternate slates to select that sl appropriate slate because um, the process and the IDs are going to be different per slate. Next, we're going to hit download. We'll open up that file and we'll pull this one over here. And then let's copy paste um, all of the this lineup data over to cell S1 here. And then uh, what we're going to do is in A2, we're going to hit equals V lookup, paren the lookup value, which will be uh, this player here, S1, the table array, which is going to be um, N9 and O9 all the way to the bottom. And then we're going to do column two, false. So what this does is it looks up uh, cell S1, and then it says, is it is this Dallas Kershaw in this t player's table here? And if it matches uh, a value in this first column, then return the second index, uh, or this ID here, um, into this value here. And false just makes sure that's an exact match as, as opposed to um, uh, string contain. So then we're going to copy paste this all the way across. Whoops. So what we're missing here is we actually need to lock this table array. So you can do that by either doing Apple T in Mac or F4 in Windows for each of these. Or you could just uh, manually add the dollar signs in front of the um, column and row numbers. So we'll hit enter and we'll copy paste one more time. And then we're going to copy paste this across all of the lineups. So I think we have 40 lineups. So this gives us all of the IDs for all of the corresponding players here. Uh, and let's go ahead and save this file and go back to DraftKings. So now we're going to upload the CSVs. Actually, before we do that, I'm just going to um, just delete and only show three for now, just to make it a little bit more manageable. Um, and I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, editing some of this later. So we'll do three for now. Click upload. And then um, this is the file that we just saved as. And you can see that they're successfully uploaded. Uh, this lineup should be the same as this first lineup here. So Herschel, Cueto, Castro, Encarnacion, you can see that those all match up here. Um, if you go to the My Lineups page, you'll see all three of those lineups here. Now, if you want to edit lineups, uh, well, first we can go to the lobby and enter these lineups. So let's say I want to enter it into uh, this contest here. You can enter all three lineups for uh, $9 here. Basically, these all have zero entries right now. And you can say, OK, I want this one or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to enter and yes. So now I have one entry in all three. And so you can see that's the process for bulk entering lineups. Now we'll walk through the process of actually editing these lineups. Let's say, um, let's say 
Cueto, for some reason, was a late scratch or some new starting lineup information came in and you want to modify all your lineups. The way to do that is you want to click Edit Entries. And then uh, this is the slate that I want to edit. Hit Download. It will open up that file. And so um, what this does is it'll spit out the uh, player name and ID for these entries. So these are the three entries I have. And essentially what I want to do is delete these values. Um, so you can, well, technically we don't need to delete it, but you can delete these values. Uh, it's, and then you want to do the same process, copy paste the new um, lineups in here and uh, do the VLOOKUP here. So we'll go through that process. So let's say I want to exclude um, Cueto from all lineups. Let's say he was a late scratch in all of them. We'll rebuild, export to CSV, and I'm just gonna take the first three lineups, copy paste that over to, let's say W1 in this case, and then we're gonna do a VLOOKUP, starting with W1 here comma this table and we'll lock in that table column next to false so same process as before copy paste this across all three and then we'll save this so this is dkentries.csv and then I want to upload that file so dkentries.csv and you can see that those three entries that we've already uploaded have been edited to the new lineups. So we go back to the My Lineups tab. You can see that um, Cueto has been replaced with Boreos and the lineups have been uh, updated accordingly. So what we've just showed you is a way to upload lineups, to edit existing lineups, um, and then once you uploaded those lineups, you can enter those lineups on the lobby page. So that's the process, and if you haven't had a chance to check out our premium plans, you can do so by clicking the premium header here. Um, all of this export to CSV feature is available on our all-star and MVP plans. And there's a number of other features that come along with these plans. Um, you'll have a lot more bankroll entries for our bankroll tracker to analyze your performance. You can upload your own custom projections. Um, you can create weighted average projections. Uh, across a lot of default projections or your own. Um, one popular feature is the community likes. Um, this is a total like count across all Daily Fantasy Nerd users, which lets you see chalk plays for the day, or if you're playing GPPs, potential fade plays um, of who might be popular. And the ability to export um, the lineups to CSV, which is what we just showed you. And if you haven't had a chance to um, try out Daily Fantasy Nerd, you can go to dailyfantasynerd.com and click get started free. I hope you found this tutorial video helpful and I wish you the best of luck. Thanks!